Hey guys, what's going on? This is Curtis here at BullyTree.com. It's either here or either there. Lately, I haven't been doing my work. I haven't been putting my, my Bully Tree signs up there. But, but I'll try this one. Put a video up there, uh, a sign up there that says uh, BullyTree.com so you guys can remember, see the link, visit the website. Uh, today, I want to get to the point. You know, I, I think I have made, I've done a video like this before, but I really want to exaggerate with this one. I want to call this serving your bully community too. Now guys, it's okay to start a business. There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to start a web business. There's nothing wrong with that. If you have a product, you have collars, leeches, you have, you know, you sell bully graphics, bully clothing. That's why you started your business. Okay, you don't expect to sell any products unless you, you go bring people in. Remember, your business is new. So, as far as search engine traffic, you're not going to be getting that. Okay, when it comes to other kinds of businesses where you don't have like physical product, you're selling something that's based on the, on the, on the, the reputation or the long standing or the quality of your website. You have a problem if you try to charge people right off the bat. If your, if your website is generating no traffic, why are you going to try to charge people? I can't figure it out. That to me indicates the mindset of a taker or someone that doesn't understand the demographics of the bully community. And I made another video with that just recently. You know, I saw a new site just started. I'm not going to call any names. You know, great looking website, good idea, um, just started three weeks ago maybe. And they want them to charge people 25, 30, 50 bucks for ad space. Guys, come on, make sense. Nobody wants to buy an ad space on your website if you have no traffic. Instead of having a taker's mentality, have a giver mentality. A giver mentality is what gets you to the next realm. You give something to the community. Not something that's halfway done. Something that's genuine and real and something that's true. So for all of you entrepreneurs out there who want to throw up a halfway, half pick website, you know, and then two weeks later you have banners and stuff saying, oh, you know, I, I want to charge for this and I want to charge for that. You're only digging yourself a grave. Build up your following. You know, I've been in this business for a long time. And nothing happens if you don't build a following. I ain't talking about Facebook traffic. Facebook traffic, you gotta, you gotta post every day. I'm talking about search engine traffic. Where any random search by anybody brings in that generic traffic. That's, that's the good stuff. Okay? I'm not talking about a hit counter in the bottom of your website that says 10,000 hits because everybody knows that hit counters. Give me a second here. Let me let, let me let me dismiss this here for a second. Everybody know that everybody know that hit counters. Hit counters could be manipulated. When you install a hit counter on your website, you have the the, the, the option of starting the hit counter 5,000. 6,000, 7,000, that's your option. From that point on, you can continue, or you can go back into your hit counter if you're not getting any hits, and set it back to 25,000. So you can make your hit counter look, look like you, your website's getting all this traffic. The true, the true stats come in, though. People that visit your site from the search engines. So people that come onto Facebook, and post, and then your hit counter say they, they, they got 5,000 hits in a, in a month, Ask them to stop posting for a day, for a week, and see what's going to happen. If the search engines are not finding your site, most likely a site is not worth charging for. If you have products that you're selling, that's great. You have to, you have to charge. You cannot, but you have to take it to the people. But a site that's dependent on search engine traffic. Because people want to, because uh, people want to come there and buy an ad from you, you need search engine traffic, not Facebook traffic. For that, I will just post on Facebook. Okay, 
With that said, you know, I encourage everyone to go out and support members of the bully community that start, that start businesses up. But I don't want you guys to be taken. I don't want you to be taken. Okay? So, don't be taken. You be strong, you look for your best opportunity to advertise, and you go there. Okay? You can, you can, you know, you can support a friend who just started a business. That's fine. But don't expect to get much hits from a website that just started. If, if the website is under a year old, don't expect, don't expect to have to get much hits from it. Okay? I, I, I would advise you not to even put an ad on that business unless they're spending some really big hundreds of thousands to, to be in, in the top positions on the search engines or something like that. You know, or to Google to be on the first page and, you know. Other than that, guys, be careful who, how, you, how and who you buy ads from because you probably will be wasting your money unless you really want to support that person. I've done it, all right? Other than that, look for sites that are established. My Bullyfies classifies as one of them. Established website, you have something to advertise, it's free, I'm not even charging. And it's been, that site is seven years old. I charge for premium ads, but that's your choice. I'm not saying if you don't buy a premium ad, you, wouldn't, you can't post on this website. Okay? That's a good site to post on, bullyfights.com, B-U-L-L-Y-F-I-E-D-S, or B-U-L-L-I-F-I-E-D-S. I own bo both domains, okay? One will lead to the other. Uh, another nice site that's coming up is This Is Bully. Really, really nice social network. You guys, you guys, you guys missing out. That's a really nice little site, you know? Uh, it's the only one I get in the bully community, and you guys should check it out. This Is Bully is a beautiful little site. A lot of features that Facebook doesn't even have, and instead of... Posting on Facebook, you guys should give us some support because we are here for the bully community. We want to give back to the community. We're not takers. I, I'm not charging for anything. My, my website, I you know I give premium ads, uh, 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 highlighted ads for free. You know I pin people's posts on, on the homepage for free. You know, I'm just asking you if you want maybe at some point to to to, to, to have more hits and more quality hits, uh, get more recognition. So if you want to go that way, you can purchase an ad. But if you don't, I don't change anything. You guys can come on, call me whenever you want to. I always answer my phone. You always gonna get a reply. Okay? Peace to you. Be careful who you post your ads with. Okay? A lot of these sites just they just they just come to take. They'll take your money, and then a year from now they don't exist. Okay? We are here to build relationships. Bullyfies is here to build relationships. All right? We're not following anyone. Any every, everyone that has a bully classifies is following us. That's not to say that they can't be better than us. But at this point, they are not. So just be careful. Okay? Peace. I love you guys. This is for the bully community. And have a good day. Bye.